So every year I uh, do interviews for interns. And I ask my interns every year the same question. Write me an essay on the power of compassion. And every year I get the same essays. I get essays which talk about a personal struggle or story where they felt they needed to exercise their own compassion to better understand. I get essays which define compassion the word. It's literal Latin meaning, to suffer together. I get essays which tell me the steps to increase compassion in myself. But not a single essay ever defines power. See, when we talk about compassion in politics today, the two seem completely impossible. They're entirely exclusive. In a militarized world that we exist in today, when we want to talk about security, we talk about whose army is smarter or stronger. That is what it means to force people to do something in today's world. And I would argue that compassion is actually all that more important because of it. Compassion is what can actually get you into rooms and communities and spaces where you hear different perspectives, where you can create legitimate solutions because you know what the problems are. It becomes exceptionally difficult to stand in a city like Strasbourg and talk about democracy and how important education and democracy are. When in this country and countries next door, there are people who because of the color of their skin or where they came from or the fact that they were fleeing a war that we are globally responsible for, they don't even have access into a classroom. It makes hypocrites of all of us. I truly wanted to come here today and give a rousing speech on the importance of compassion, on how it can transform all of us into better politicians, better teachers, better diplomats, better businesswomen, businessmen, if you, if you want to let them work, fine. <laughs> but I cannot in good conscience be here and say that I am not so fundamentally disappointed that we are failing on the very issues that we espouse we are leaders on. And that if we are not careful, the International Convention on Refugees may have been born in Europe, but it will die here as well. When we are compassionate, and when we recognize that every other individual on earth deserves what we want for ourselves and for our children, that is when we are most prosperous, and that is when we succeed. That is the very reason the European Union exists. It exists because heads of state so long ago recognized that unless we are all collectively working for the best for ourselves and for one another, conflict would ensue. So while we have conversations about the importance of education and democratic education, while we redefine what those terms mean, while we recognize that democracy as we have it today is not democracy for everybody. While we restructure our institutions to prioritize peace over economic gain. While we look, look to issues like the global goals to be platforms and frameworks through which we can actually operate. We have to ask ourselves as individuals, how compassionate are we being in our space? Thank you.